subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about the top interview questions for Project Management Professional Certification. So let's get started. Question number 1, How can you manage conflict in project management? Your answer is 1. Interpret the source and stage of the conflict. 2. Analyze the context for the conflict. 3. Evaluate or recommend or reconcile the appropriate conflict resolution solution. Question number 2, Who are project managers? Your answer is, project managers play the lead role in planning, executing, monitoring, controlling and closing projects. They are accountable for the entire project scope, project team, resources, and the success or failure of the project. Question number 3, How do you plan to tackle project execution? Your answer is, Effectively handling project execution requires the PM to act as a leader, and work in collaboration with project stakeholders, sponsors, and peers by demonstrating excellent communication and interpersonal skills. Question number 4. What are the difficult aspects of a project? Your answer is. One of the most difficult aspects of a project is to understand, extract, and solidify in documented form the requirements of a project. Each project has many interested internal and external parties or customers. Often these individuals change or their interests in the project change during the different phases of the project. This may cause the other technical requirements. Question number 5. What is a stakeholder? Your answer is. The term stakeholder is used as a general term to describe individuals, groups, or organizations that have an interest in the project and can mobilize resources to affect its outcome in some way. Project stakeholders usually include the project manager, the customer, team members within the performing organization, and the project sponsor. Question number 6. What do you mean by stakeholder analysis? Your answer is. Stakeholder analysis typically refers to the range of techniques or tools to identify and understand the needs and expectations of major interests inside and outside the project environment. Understanding the attributes, interrelationships, interfaces among and between project advocates and opponents assists us in strategically planning our project. Question number 7. Define project management. Your answer is. Project management is the application of knowledge, skills, tools, and techniques to project activities in order to meet, or exceed stakeholder needs and expectations and balancing their competing demands. Question number 8. What is the role of project managers in communication planning tool? Your answer is. Project managers should carefully design the approach they use to communicate with their stakeholders. The information needs of the various stakeholders should be analyzed to develop a methodical and logical view of their information needs, and sources to meet those needs. Question number 9. What does influence indicate in a stakeholder's perspective? Your answer is. Influence indicates a stakeholder's relative power over and within a project. A stakeholder with high influence would control key decisions within the project and have a strong ability to facilitate the implementation of project tasks and cause others to take action. Usually, such influence is derived from the individual's hierarchical, economic, social, or political position, though often someone with personal connections to other persons of influence also qualifies. Question number 10. Explain how influence and importance are distinct from each other? Your answer is. The two measures, influence and importance, are distinct from each other. A project may have an important financial sponsor that can shut down the project at any time for any reason, but does not participate at all in the day-to-day -day operations of the project. The combination of these measures provides insight not only into how stakeholders interact, but also helps identify additional assumptions and risks. Question number 11. What risks are manifested with stakeholders? Your answer is. In relation to stakeholders, risks are manifest when there are conflicting needs and expectations. For example, the interests of a stakeholder with high influence may not be in line with the objectives of the project, 
and can block a project's positive progression. Question number 12, what do you mean by gold plating? Your answer is, gold plating is when a project team adds on features that were not requested by the client. The reasons for gold plating can vary. Sometimes this is done to gain the approval of a client or internal management. This is also occasionally done to draw attention away from project defects. Question number 13. Why is leadership skill important in project management? Your answer is. Great leadership is a differentiator for a project manager to move from average to superior business performance. This skill includes the ability to move from one leadership style to another depending on the situation. The leadership style we use determines the way people receive us, and can either help or hinder their ability to perform. Question number 14. What is the primary objective of the visionary leadership? Your answer is. The primary objective of the visionary leadership style is to provide long-term direction and vision. It sets standards and monitors performance in relation to the larger vision, and uses a balance of positive and negative feedback to motivate. To utilize the visionary leadership style in the best manner, employ it when the communication of goals is needed. Question number 15. What is EVM? Your answer is. EVM is a project management methodology for computing the schedule and cost differences with the help of schedule and cost performance index. It helps in creating new performance and cost predictions in a project. It is a pragmatic technique for determining the discrepancies and performance of a project numerically to help the team in making forecasts and planning relevant preventive measures for handling the variances. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.